Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fold a traditional origami style box. This is a fun a model to fold and I hope you enjoy it. Um, we are going to need to start with a square piece of paper. Mine is a 15cm square but you, but you can use um, any size of paper you want. Okay, and we're going to start the cold side up if your paper has colour on one side and white on the other. Um, when you are finished, your box will have a white inside and a coloured outside. Um, if you want your box to have a coloured inside and a white outside, then you can start white side up. But I'm going to start coloured side up. Um, it's probably best if you use a paper that has um, a do, a, um, a do coloured effect. So that's one colour on one side and a different colour on the other side you will get the best effect then. So let's begin. We're going to start by folding a square base. So we can fold in half diagonally. Like so. And the other way as well. And we can just unfold and turn over the model. Okay, so now we can fold in half. Uh, both ways. And unfold. Okay, so now we can rotate and we want to reinforce these diagonal mountain folds and just kind of pinch them together and bring them down so that we get a nice square so now we want um, all of the flaps at, at the bottom we want them facing us and we can just take we can just take this edge and fold it to the crease that runs down the page And on the other side as well. So that we get this. Now we can unfold those creases like that. Okay, so now the creases that we just made, we want them to be kind of like standing up. Then we want to get a finger and we just want to push it inside. So just kind of tuck it inside there so that the model is now half open. So we were here and we've just opened it up. And then what we want to do is we just want to squash that down symmetrically so that we get that. And then we can repeat with this side. So open up and squash. So now we've done that, we want, um, if we take a look here, we can just mount and fold that back. Maybe it's easier if you fold over one flap to the right, then, then you fold that over. But I find it easy just to mount and fold that back and repeat that on the other side. So that we get this. Okay, so now we can turn over and repeat the steps again. So now we're almost done, um, this point here, um, we can just fold that down. Now, we want to fold it down so that we create a crease that starts where this point ends and it goes horizontal to the other side. So if you just fold that down, then it should all kind of line and you can't really fold the paper anymore, so you can just give that a nice crease. Like so. Okay, so now we can get this point here, the top layer, and we can just fold it down basically as far as it will go. Then turn over, fold the point up as far as it will go. Fold the flaps over, so 
after that you get this, then once again fold those flaps up. So that now we have this. Um so the crease that we made here before, the crease that's here, that's that crease, um, we're going to use to make the box 3D. So we can just look inside the model and we take these two um, opposite points and we just pull apart. And then we should be able to stick our finger inside and just go around and pinch on those mountain folds. Make, making sure all those points come out. So that we have a nice square box. Then if we turn over, we can just sort out these flaps. Then we have completed our traditional origami style box. Well, thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to create an origami style box. And I will see you in my next video.